YouTube, what's going on, baby? It's your boy Ron Real, aka Double R, back in the building, back with another video, back with another damn banger. Today, we're going to be reviewing an all new cigar by Alec and Bradley called the Kintsugi. You guys hang tight, stay tuned, I'll tell you more about it. All right, today we're gonna to be looking at the Alec Bradley Kintsugi cigar. Now, this is a new release, even though it was supposed to come out earlier in, the, earlier in the year, but you guys know with the pandemic and COVID-19 going on, it kind of pushed a lot of people's plans back. So it just now recently released, but this was a cigar that was supposed to be out a couple of months ago. But this was a very interesting cigar, I thought, with the story behind it. And then, you know, Alec and Bradley both working on this cigar. This has only been a few, or there's only been a few projects that they've actually worked on themselves. And this is one of them. So the, the Kintsugi is what this one is. Comes in a Corona Gorda, Robusto, which we'll be smoking today. It also comes in a Toro and a Gordo. Now the price for this Robusto is $7.95. Excellent price point on this. This is billed at a five by 50. I'm gonna tell you now, I smoke a lot of cigars and just from the feel of the hand, I know 48 ring gauge is 47, somewhere in there because it's my favorite size cigar and I smoke them a lot. This doesn't feel like a 50 ring gauge, but we'll just, I wanna confirm just to make sure cause I could be wrong. Let's see what we got. To so where a hair under five inches, which ain't a big deal. Happens from time to time. 48. 48 ring gauge. Actually, let me, because the Corona Gorda is at a, or is built at a 46. I think I got a Corona Gorda. All right, so I have a, I have a Corona Gorda here that's built at a 46 ring gauge, so we'll see what that one is. This one looks like it's going to be 40, 44, so I don't, I don't know if it's a mistake by them or whatever. So my Corona Gorda is a 44 ring gauge. My Robusto is a 48, but whatever, beside the point. So we got a nice triple cap on this one. Has some tight invisible seams. There is some tooth present. Now this one has a Honduran Habano wrapper. It has a double binder from Honduras and Nicaragua, and it also has fillers from Honduras and Nicaragua. Again, price point on this 7.95. I think it's a pretty good price on it. So without further ado, we will go into battle. Now the, uh, the name Kintsugi is a reference to the old Japanese or a Japanese art form where they fix broken pottery with lacquer and the lacquer is either silver, platinum or gold. So that's where the, uh, the name Kintsugi comes from. Quick FYI. Pretty good draw on this one. Getting some wood, a little bit of a cinnamon taste. Kind of like a savory, savory quality in it too. So, we'll see what we got. Get this thing on lit up. Yeah. So uh, I haven't got a chance to smoke any of the other sides. As I have smoked this Robusto before. As you guys see, I have a Corona Gorda and there's a Toro and a uh, Gordo. Probably won't be smoking the Gordo, but I'll definitely try the Toro size because just to see how consistent the blend is. Now, before I go any further, I'm not the biggest Alec Bradley fan, but I do like the Prinsado. I do like the Magic Toast. Uh, some of the other ones that were pretty popular in the past just didn't really hit my palate right, like the Project 40, uh, Black Market, some other ones that I know that are very popular. Just wasn't for me, but I am a big fan of the Prinsado and the Magic Toast. I actually really, really enjoy that Magic Toast. Very nice retro hill on this, even in the beginning. Nice cinnamon hit. You're getting some wood. It's like a little bit of a mineral taste in there, but it's not bad, not the bad mineral. Real nice flavors on this. Definitely cinnamon and wood. This is a real nice one. I can already tell. Like if you're not careful, I'll end up hot boxing this and just keep on smoking. This is a this is starting out very good. So we'll go ahead and get through this first third. I'll come back with body flavor, strength, all that good stuff. Good stuff. So y'all hang tight and stay tuned. 
All right, so we're finishing up in this first third of this uh, Alec and Bradley Kintsugi. Very, this is a really good cigar, man, you know. You're getting some brown sugar, getting some cinnamon, getting some wood. There's just some other, there's some other stuff going on in there that I can't really put my finger on, which for me, usually doesn't happen too often. Normally, I can, I'm pretty good when I can sit down and concentrate trying to pick out flavors, but it almost, it doesn't bother me neither because I'm just enjoying the cigar. Some of the stuff like the brown sugar, the cinnamon, the wood is pronounced very smooth retro hill. This isn't a very peppery cigar at all. This, this is this is a good cigar, man. I, let me take this band off before I burn through it. Um, the, the previous ones I've smoked, you're not gonna get an incredibly long smoke time on the Robusto at least. Like for me, it runs around 45 minutes, 50 minutes, which isn't bad, you know. Flavors are good. Just it's, this is a good this is a good blend. I would say right now, body and flavor are probably medium, and the strength is probably at the highest side of mild. Not a very strong cigar. And see, this is another cigar that's a prime example because I have strength in my rating. A lot of people think, well, if the cigar isn't strong, that I won't like it. This is a perfect example of that being not true. Great flavors on this. Just a, a very good blend. It's not strong, and I'm still really enjoying this. It's a really good cigar. So. I'm gonna keep on smoking through this second third, let you know if there's any changes or anything like that. So y'all hang tight, stay tuned. All right, we're working our way through this second third. Still some great flavors on this. The body has been, and body and flavor have definitely increased. Got a good strong medium on body and flavor. I would say the strength is kind of slowly bumped up into the medium category as well too. Definitely more intensity as far as that brown sugar. Still getting a nice cinnamon hit on it. The retro hill is picked up on a nice black pepper spice. Still nothing overwhelming, but you can definitely tell it's kind of getting the sinuses tingling a little bit. Construction has been perfect on this thing. Draw, burn, everything has been good. So really enjoying this cigar. Uh, you know, I still got a little bit of cigar left, but I've smoked a couple of these now and I'll, I'll be getting a box of these. these this, is a, this is a box worthy cigar for me and especially at under $8 retail. You might be able to find some places online or, or wherever uh, on down the road, not you know, not being a brand new cigar, but on down the road, that might be a cigar you want to pay attention to if, if you see it involved in any sales or anything like that. Also forgot to mention too, this cigar was given to me by my good friend Jeff over at Tinderbox of Memphis. So big shout out to Jeff and Lynn at Tinderbox of Memphis. If you're local, definitely don't forget to stop by and uh, shop with them, man. They got a great selection over there and they carry this Kintsugi. Really, really enjoying this. So we'll go ahead and get through this last third, come back, give you body flavor, strength, some points and things like this. So y'all hang tight, stay tuned. All right, so we're working our way through this final third of this Alec Bradley Kintsugi cigar. Excellent cigar, very good. So I don't have to smoke too much further on this. It's not a lot of stuff changing, but I'm not gonna have to smoke too much further down. I'm gonna I already have my points in order, so we'll go ahead and score it. Ended up still medium for everything. Body flavor and strength for me, just a textbook medium. Very good flavors on this. Not the most complex blend, but the flavors are very good. Price point is good, everything is appropriate. I think that this is gonna be a very popular cigar among a lot of cigar smokers. So for flavor, I gave it an 18 out of 20. Like I said, the flavors on this are definitely above average. This is a really good flavor profile, very good blend. Obviously smoking it in the Robusto format, I have the Corona Gorda, which I think will do well. It's, uh, also, they have the Toro and they have the Gordo. I'll have to try that Toro out. Gave the draw a 20 out of 20, burn a 20 out of 20, complexity a 16 out of 20, and the strength a 16 out of 20, which is gonna give this cigar an overall score of a 90 out of 100. Definitely elite for me in, in, in my eyes, and especially you can get a cigar like this for well under the $10 price point, which again, just justifies that not all expensive cigars are elite and not all lower than $10 cigars are not good. This is a very good example of a very budget friendly cigar that is extremely good. 90 for me. Thank you guys for tuning in. This has been the Alec, and Alec Bradley Kintsugi. Again, thanks for Tinderbox for gifting me this cigar to review. Hey, and on that note, y'all know the name of the game is relaxation and enjoyment. And don't forget to be driven, never motivated. We will catch you on this next one. Peace.